This SVHS VCR can output the contents of a VHS tape via its built-in Firewire port in DV25 codec. This is a very rare feature for an SVHS VCR, and I'm going to talk about it today. In this video, I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the built-in DV output in this VCR versus using a mini DV camcorder in pass-through mode. I'll also show you whether the TPC DNR settings and the picture control settings have any effect when using the built-in DV output. And I'll look at the service manual to see how the tape mechanism half of the device connects internally to the DV circuitry part. There are about five common workflows people use when digitizing analog tapes. And this video is focusing on the second of these methods. Now, the usual way that this workflow works is to put uh, in the workflow path either a mini DV camcorder or some models of digital aid camcorders or the ADVC 110, for instance. But if you have the JVC SR VS30 or its sister, the DVS3U, then you actually don't need those other devices. Now, those two uh, VCRs, the VS30 and the DVS3U, they're actually two of the uh, JVC models that are recommended at Digital FAQ. Okay, so let's start with our first comparison. So we're going to play a VHS tape, and we're going to output via the DV port on this VCR. And we're going to compare that to playing the tape in the same VCR, but this time outputting via an S-Video cable into a mini DV camcorder, and then out via the DV port on that mini DV camcorder. And here's the recording in EP mode. By the way, these are the settings I used. Uh, picture control is set to edit, which means it's not enhancing the video, uh, and the TBC noise reduction is turned on. Now, I think this is one of those situations where it's sort of hard to spot any difference. I'll zoom in a bit. Still sort of hard to see. So let's grab a frame from each of these videos and we'll go into Photoshop and we'll check what's called the lightness value. And you can see that the mini DV version is a bit brighter. All right, let's do like a super zoom on this light switch. I think the one on the right is softer. All right, maybe we need a second opinion here or different footage. Uh, so here's some footage I took that I originally recorded with a mini DV camcorder on a perfectly cloudy day. And what I did was I made a copy of it onto a VHS tape. And now what you're watching is the footage from that VHS copy. Now we'll do this Photoshop pixel test again. And it's showing this time that the version that went through the mini DV workflow is darker whereas in the other uh, test it was brighter, so I, I can't really explain that. Maybe it's maybe it's meaningless or trivial, or maybe I clicked on the wrong pixel, so let's just set that aside. Anyways, after these two tests, honestly, the bottom line for me is that outputting via the built-in DV stuff in this VCR is really the same as passing it through a mini DV camcorder. I was sort of curious to see the inside of this VCR, to look at the service manuals to try to figure out how it connects, how the VCR part connects to the DV part. Now there are three cables that connect the tape player part of the unit to the DV part of the unit. So here, here, and here. All right, the first one is marked CN2801. Uh, this is the service manual. And here's the info on CN2601. Okay, DVAPBR, DVAPBL. Okay, that must be right and left. Um, it's probably, PB is probably power button. And rec, I guess, is the record button. Okay, so let's just go on here. CN3014. Okay, so that shows something about RX and TX, which I think is receiving and transmitting. Um, and then CN710. All right, let's just turn this around here. Okay, well, as you may have guessed, I have no idea what any of this means. Uh, but if you do, uh, please leave a comment. That's kind of why I left this part in the video. 
Now, the point of, of looking at the service manual is try to figure out, is it better to use an internal connection from the tape part of the unit to the DV part of the unit? Is that better and more direct than just using a traditional S-video cable that would, you know, go out to a mini DV camcorder? I guess it's more of a theoretical question, but I'm kind of curious. And if you know the answer, please um, leave a comment. All right, the next question is, does the picture control and the TBCNR, does it get applied in pass-through? In other words, let's say I'm playing a VHS tape on some random, not very good VCR. And let's say I connect it with a composite cable to this JVC VS30 with the intention of just outputting it through DV. So the question is, does the JVC's, all that enhancement stuff that it has, does it have any effect on a video that's being passed through it? And I was going to show you some sample footage, but to save time, I'll just simply say no. The TBC NR stuff and the picture control stuff, it only works on tapes when they're being played inside that awesome JVC itself. Now, the next question I have is a little bit more relevant. Let's say I'm playing my VHS tape in my awesome uh, JVC VS30. And I know that the picture control and the TBC NR settings, they get applied when I output the signal uh, via S video or composite. But what about when the signal gets digitized in the DV part of this VCR? Does the picture control and TBC NR stuff do anything? Well, the answer is yes. And here's the evidence. Here's uh, some video that was output via DV and the picture control is set to edit, which means it's turned off. And in a moment, it'll change to soft, and you'll see the difference. Okay, so the picture control stuff works, but the final question is, does the DV digitization circuitry, or whatever you want to call it, does it act as its own TBC? Now, if you look at this page from the service manual, there are a lot of references to TBC in the section talking about the DV in out stuff. Now, I'm not an expert in these diagrams and basically I want to crawl into a corner and cry when I'm forced to look at them. But it seems like the DV circuitry stuff has TBC things in it and that fixes the jitter too. So I guess what that means is that let's say you're playing a VHS tape on this JVC VS30 I guess you can turn off the TBC NR feature in the menu if you're outputting via DV because any jitter issues or flagging or waving, that should be fixed as the signal passes through the DV in out port. So what's the conclusion? I think there are three points. First is that the JVC VS30 VCR has this built-in analog to digital converter. It can output in the DV25 format, just like my Sony TRV17 mini DV camcorder. Second point is that if you have a VHS tape, you can just digitize it right inside the JVC VS30. You don't need a mini DV camcorder or the ADVC110. And finally, I think that you can turn off the TBC NR feature in the JVC VS30 because the analog to digital circuitry seems to have its own TBC superpower that fixes the jittery, wavy, flaggy video. Now, I know that there are many people who don't believe in digitizing with the DV25 codec. They believe you'll get much better results with a very good SD capture device. That's probably true. But if you happen to find this uh, for relatively inexpensive, it's actually an interesting um, it's an interesting buy because you don't even need to buy a mini DV camcorder to uh, to use in pass through mode. You don't need to buy an SD capture card. All you really need is a FireWire card on your computer, and you can transfer all your videos, all your VHS videos, through it. And here are some more videos I've done in the past that you know might be useful.